December 27th, 2007, Google announced that they would release the legendary G Drive. G Drive is an online hard drive created by Google, of course, but you can access it from your desktop and use it exactly like you use your computer's hard drive. It's free and it's unlimited storage. But today, I'm going to teach you how to make your Gmail account into a G Drive until this G Drive comes out in around February 2007. Now what you first need is, of course, a Gmail account. If you don't have one, I'll show you how to make one real quick. Gmail is Google's mail, of course, which came out in around about 2004. Now before I teach you how to make one, notice this lots of space. Now notice how, notice what I've highlighted just keeps going up. Google says that they'll give users all the space in their storage until it runs out. That means that once you create this G drive that I'm talking about, its space will just keep going up. And at the rate it's going up, it's going up at about one letter per second, or two letters for your email. So your email won't ever have the problem of running out of space because it uploads at about one email per second. That's how much space you gain, at least. So. If you don't have a Gmail account, click on Sign Up for Gmail. Then create your account. Once you've created your account, if you already have an account, you don't need to create another one. Although you might when you see what I'm going to do in a second. But don't, don't create one right now. Very long address. Go to softpedia.com. Softpedia is a free downloads encyclopedia storage bank and type in, on the search, which you'll see, type in Gmail Drive Shell Extension 1 and hit search. Gmail Drive Shell is the program you'll be using. You'll recognize this software by the distinctive G Google M and it's usually also the first search. So you'll recognize the software you need to click on by the mail sign for Google. On. I'll highlight it there. Alright, now click on it. Now, Gmail Drive Shell Extension 1.10112. Now over here, I'm going to highlight this because it's really hard to find the download. It's right over here. You can see where my cursor is. Click on Download Gmail Drive Shell Extension. Don't worry, I'm not Mark Erickson. I'm not going to put a virus on your computer or anything. And I'm verifying this because I'm doing it as I do it. Well, I might skip a little bit, but if you, you have any problems with downloading or anything, just put it on my website. Or just put it on the YouTube talk page and I'll deal with it. Alright, now, back to subject. Click on Softpedia Secure Download US. Okay? That will download your um, thing. Your, well, we'll get to that in a sec. It's a 152 kilobyte file, and after that, if you're having troubles downloading this, you may need to download a BitTorrent client. And but usually you won't have to do that. Now after you've downloaded it, you X out. Now, once you've done, now click. Now, click on. You'll see a folder probably on your desktop, Gmail FS 112 slash 2. Click on it. Once you've clicked on it, it'll have a setup folder and it'll have something that says setup. Click on that and install. Now you might need to go through the setup process and everything. After you're done downloading this, at least for Windows Vista, click on computer or my computer if you're running XP or anything lower. Now, once you do that, once you do that, you'll see something that says Gmail Drive. That's your Gmail. You click on it. Now for you, you're going to click open. But for me, I'm just going to but for you, you're going to click, just click on the Gmail drive. Now, 
type in your Gmail address that you log onto your mail. You don't need to put at gmail.com. It already knows that. Now type in your password. Now it will begin logging onto Gmail. Sorry, I entered in the wrong password. Let me try that again. Now, you'll see something that says, I've already put documents in, so it's not. So it's, so you won't see these documents here. Now, and note this, its reliability and its existence. Click on Purdy's. You'll note that there's a capacity that may say 5.46 gigabytes or above. This, was, this video was made December 9, 2007, but the title is 6 plus gigabytes, so this, does, this video doesn't look ancient. This, your hard capabilities will go above 6 gigabytes by the end of the year. Now, just drag any document from my documents into your Gmail Drive. You might want to make a shortcut to Gmail Drive on your desktop. Now it will download the documents onto your Gmail Drive and then once you're done do downloading the documents onto the Gmail Drive, delete them from your computer. To view them again, you'll have to click on, you'll have to download them back onto your computer, but they will be in your Gmail Drive. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what, I'm afraid this is interfering with my email because you know, there's there's, I'm putting stuff pretty much on my email's drive. Well, go to gmail.com again. Look how fast this is going up. By the end of the day, this will be well over 5,600 megabytes. Now, click as your username. Just do your normal username. And you will you'll see your document on there. Well now what you have to do, not mine, because I already did this. Now what you'll have to do is you're gonna want to click on the document that you put on your G drive, okay? And then under more actions. You click, click, filter messages like these. Now, where it says create a filter, you're going to want to put your email address, which is already going to be in there. On the to section, just type in to me. Now, click on next step. Now, click, for the options, click skip the inbox and apply label. Now, make Choose, make a new label. I've already done this, but for you, write the new label as G Drive. Now, G Disk will work too. Now click OK. I'll click Cancel since I've already done this. Now, click on Create Filter. Now, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that because I already did it. But for you, you're going to click on Create Filter, okay? Now click on your inbox again at least one of your documents will still be on there but now go so now minimize the gmail now go to your gmail drive load, load and delete some more documents onto it now go to your gmail drive after you've done that again and click inbox again it's sort of a refresher now you won't see any new messages but click on you'll see a separate section down here where I'm putting my cursor just for G Drive. Click on it. Now you'll see all of your G Drive documents, movies, and whatever else might be on there. Now here's where I can, I'll show you how you can see your documents without having to reload them back onto your computer again. Just click on them. And then click on View as HTML. You can also download them on there. Here's your document. Good as new. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, put them on the YouTube talk page. For now, I'm Eric Dixon.